Hello and welcome. My name is James and I'm one of the electrical engineers here at 4B Brain Components. In this video, I'll show you some of the features of Hazardmon which you can use to look back at the history of any sensor and analyse the data, as well as setting up email alerts. We'll start by going into the sensor dashboard page of our 4B demo elevator. At the top you'll see live, historical and maintenance tabs. Live is obviously the current conditions and historical will let you view information from a previous date. If I select this, a window will appear where I can choose a date. I'll go for the 6th of December as this was when I used the bearing temperature testing unit to trip the elevator for our previous video so we can see the data from that day. You will also need to select the time you wish to view, but you get a plus or minus 15 minute option to choose from as shown here. I'm going to select 12 noon, but don't worry too much as you'll be able to see the whole day in just a moment. We have a warning at the top of the screen to let us know this is a historical view, but you can now see a snapshot of the elevator signals for that date and time we inputted. I can then click on any of the sensors, nominal speed for instance, and see what happened during the day. Here we can see the elevator speed in a percentage throughout the day. We can see the elevator stopped in the afternoon, so I'm going to look into this in more detail. To do this, I'm going to click on Show All Graphs. Now we can see all of the sensor inputs. If I scroll down, we can compare speed with temperature. If I want to look into extra detail, I can use the sliders below to zoom in on a time frame. If I zoom in to between 4 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and we'll see in more detail. So now that we're zoomed in, we can see our two temperature sensors. We have BTS1, which is the blue line, and BTS2, which is the black line. And here we can see the increase in temperature as we were using the ADB temperature tester. Another option is to click on any sensor from the dashboard to show the last 24 hours in more detail. Again, we can look into extra detail using the sliders or export the data. Another function of Hazardmon is the ability to analyse the alarm history over a period of time. I've logged out of our demo account as this feature is available on standard active accounts, not demo accounts, so we can see this working here. In this function you can select a range of dates and see a summary here. I'll select the dates from the beginning of 2022 to the end of 2022 on our demo elevator account. You can see the number of alarms for each sensor activated on the summary tab. I can also go to the time of day of the alarms and I can also see the type of alarms. Using these tools you can analyse the alarms and pinpoint equipment that requires maintenance to keep your plant running smoothly. Lastly, Hazardmon is able to send email alerts to a number of accounts when a change of alarm state is activated. I've signed back into our demo account we used in previous videos as this will be closer to what you would see in real life. To do this we need to go into the user settings by clicking your name, then going to settings. Here you can change any details including your password if needed, but we're going to click on email alerts in the top corner here. Here you'll see any email alerts currently active, as well as being able to amend these by clicking change. We can also add new email alerts for various scenarios. You'll need to select the device you want the alert for, from your list here, I'm going to click demo elevator 1. And then you can go through the options here, including adding additional email addresses by clicking send to alternative, the event type and when to contact. To save any changes, just click save. So that covers most of the key features in Hazardmon. Please remember you can contact us at www.go4b.com where you'll find our office locations around the world. Thank you again for your time and a link to the other videos in this series will be in the description below.